Hey guys, it's Blockchain Brad, and as always, it's freaking awesome to be with you guys. And today is Friday, so we're going to make sure we have some Neo news to, end, to start the weekend and end the working week. So, guys, today we're going to be talking about all kinds of things Neo related. We're going to be talking about new DApps coming up. We're going to be talking about key research. We're going to be talking about some other stuff that you know is a question mark we want to maybe know about related to Neo. So let's get stuck into it, guys, so that we can really unpack the news of the day. So first of all, if you haven't been to my website, check them out guys, there's some really good Neo information out there. Um, and also, there's also links to other people and other researchers because what we want to do is we want to build out the Neo community, particularly in the West where there's a bit of a, uh, there's a dearth of research presently. We want to try and get more people on board in YouTube, more people on Twitter so that we're really having a robust conversation about what Neo is, why it's an ecosystem, why it's not a typical crypto cryptocurrency. So it's awesome. All right, so let's get stuck into the first thing. Neo scan. I've talked about this before, but basically guys, it's really great because uh, it's a bit like fork.lol. I'll just show you that one really quickly. So fork.lol here, and as you can see in fork.lol, uh, BCH is actually um, indicating it's got greater strength in terms of its uh, profitability. Um, and what this does is it actually goes through and analyzes the comparisons between the main uh, B BTC and BCH chains. Uh, so what's great is that uh, the city of Zion, and if you're not familiar with them, they are a brilliant international group who essentially are developers who are trying to also support and sponsor uh, well, they're actually sponsored by NEO, but they're trying to support the ecosystem. And the more people that do that, whether it be through social influences, whether that be through um, the development team, whatever avenue, anyone who's trying to uplift the overall value of NEO through education, through technological support is brilliant. And this site does that very well because it gives you an immediate hit on uh, the price, the market cap, the movement gives you good graphs. So guys, if you're time poor, and many of you I appreciate are really busy, this is a great go-to site uh, for NEO. Okay, so the next thing is to talk about a meetup. Now I have bro broached this before, but I want to go into it in much more detail today. Because this particular, um, and I'll have all the links, um, I'll, I'll have all the descriptions <laughs> I'll have all the links in the description for you because basically I know that you're busy and you can just go through and get all of this information. So don't stress, it'll all be itemized, it'll all be in alphabetical order. No, sorry, it'll all be um, in order according to when I, as I discuss it through the, um, through the YouTube. Um, and also guys, if you have any feedback, make sure you pop it in because I always respond to the comments. I really enjoy that uh, part of the research as well. So guys, on this one, they're talking about key key projects coming up. We're talking about AlphaCat, we're talking about The Key, we're talking about QLink, we're talking about DeepBrain, we're talking about Peer Atlas, and they're all uh, in list, They're all listed here because they were part of this uh, meetup that is, that is taking place. So if you have a look across here, uh, schedule for the 27th of November. So this is important, so we're really trying to jump in and get all this info as quickly as we can. But the reason why this is even more pertinent right now is that uh, some of these companies are, are, have already um, ex, um, ex, expressed that they are going, they're going on the NEO blockchain. So these include QLink, uh, as you guys would know. This includes the key, and this, and this now includes Peer Atlas. So for absolute certainty, we know from the publications that those three are going on the NEO blockchain, which is really cool. The other two we're going to be talking about a little bit as well, AlphaCat and uh, DeepBrain, there's some questions about whether, whether or not they'll be on appending to the NEO blockchain, but as you can see guys, given that this is an on-chain initiative and given that there's already indications of other projects going on to the NEO blockchain, there's every likelihood that they will. And if they don't, they happen to go on on-chain. What I do want to say is that NEO X is a bridge anyway. So again, it's not about stressing whether or not some of these pro public projects or private projects are going to go on, append to a, a private blockchain, which is the, a separate entity uh, of on-chain, because of two reasons. Da Hongfei is the CEO, essentially, of both. He has a vested interest in both, and whilst they are distinct, as he himself has said, and I've actually posted links before, and I can do it again if you ask, Neo X is a bridge in every way between those two worlds, and it's going to open up access beyond what we really understand yet. And so for that reason, when you see it on chain, don't be, you know, don't be afraid of, of the permission blockchain because your investment is, yes, separately with NEO, but there's going to be a bridge that allows you to obviously open that, um, that portal. 
through your investment in NEO. It's pretty cool. Okay, so again, we're going to be talking about these things, so let's get stuck into some of them. First one is City of Zion. Now guys, if you haven't been to this on NEO News today, City of Zion essentially, as I said, is this international developing group and they have released some really interesting guidelines. So I'll just show you here. Uh, the, the guidelines um, essentially are for re the responsible token sales. And if you haven't been to the site, it just gives you a rundown. It has 10 itemized uh, points and I'll just show you them here. So the City of Zion outlines 10 qualities to look for when evaluating a token sale. So it's really just for your own ICO research. And I just thought it was absolute, absolutely awesome. It helps us to you know, make informed decisions so that we're not perhaps uh, running on the fly or we're listening to somebody else who tweeted something or posted something or you watched on a video like this. This allows us to be really informed and to be educated investors. And this was reinforced on Medium. So if you haven't, uh, and I'll have all of these in the description below. Uh, there'll be a whole lot of links for you. Um, this one was a Medium article and just to outline those guidelines once again. So worth checking out. The next thing I wanted to talk to you about was Twitter, a uh, Twitter post that came up about Qcoin. And as you guys know, for some time now, because this was posted on the 27th of October, Qcoin is now listing uh, and supporting NIA. The reason why I wanted to sort of mention them is not to plug them, I'm not getting paid to do any of that. Um, and also guys, all the money, I, if I get any from these videos, I haven't even checked to be honest, but when I do, I'm gonna be pumping that back into prizes. So hopefully guys, when I hit 3,000 subscribers, um, I will set up um, a means in which we run and purely based on feedback. So I'm only gonna be using the people who write feedback in and contribute in that sense. They're all gonna go in a pool and we're gonna try and draw out some winners for Neo. So that's awesome. But getting back to Q Qcoin, um, I just wanted to show you this briefly only because it's all about getting support on the exchange, particularly for Neo. Because as you guys would know, once you see um, a, a main ecosystem or a main uh, cryptocurrency being taken seriously as a mode of exchange, as a medium of exchange for other cryptocurrencies, we know that it's being taken very, very seriously because not that many, um, hot, like in the overarching scheme of things, are can be regarded in that respect. So Neo is one of them, and Qcoin takes Neo quite seriously, and they also support um, many of the DApps. So we know, as we can see here, you've got Red Pulse being supported, um, and you know I imagine that will also expand to others as we see the ecosystem grow. Now, exciting news. Uh, this is th very much thanks to Malcolm Larida from, from the core NEO team in China. I learned about that from a post uh, that he made, put up on tw uh, Twitter. And essentially, it's all about a project called Project ICO. Now, this is going to actually append onto the NEO blockchain, and it looks like a fantastic project. So, I will, and this came, as I said, from NEO News today, and I'll provide you with this link. Um, but just to support Malcolm and, and to show that I'm trying to provide sources for this info, uh, you can see here that he posted this himself and it, he says the Project ICO will be using the NEO as the preferred blockchain. So how freaking awesome is that? And thank you Malcolm for your info, information. Now if you want to know what it is, um, I just provided some links here to show you. Basically, it's a one-stop shop. Um, it's got some legal components to it. It's also got some um, marketing aspects to it, but there's three main parts of how it works. It's gonna have legal solutions, it's gonna have technological solutions, and it's gonna have marketing solutions. Um, it hasn't got its white paper released yet, as I understand, um, but you know, if you wanna go and look into the project a bit more, that you know, I would encourage you to do that. There's not a lot on the website yet, but what you, you you know what I found interesting is this actually the project bounty, it's actually looking at trying to compensate influencers for getting involved in the space. So again, guys, if you're thinking about promoting Neo or, or any other crypto, you know get out there and and put your voice out because every one of us when we first do it we're really nervous too. We don't even know how to do it. But the truth is none of us you know know more. We're all we all have valid points, and that's why I love this space so much as we get to really unpack. Um, what matters to us and and right now it's this stuff okay uh now if you want to go across to the next one uh i wanted to quickly just mention this 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 twitter uh handle again i've mentioned nm before we're mates on twitter 
and I just have the utmost respect for him and I want to make sure that whenever I do locate information I source and respect the, the, the author. Now he has provided some brilliant information with regard to some of the dApps I'll be talking about today um, and he also finds links himself and he'll say that but I just have to make sure I reference where I get my info from so if you haven't seen this guy you have to go to either Reddit or link up on Twitter because this guy also is a really key researcher for Neo and uh, as I said we're mates because we both in, we both enjoy the, the deep research. Uh, and this is also where I got my link for the, the project ICO as you can see. Moving on to the next thing I wanted to talk to you about was Stokit. Now Stokit is a decentralized store, a cloud storage system and it's going to go onto the Neo platform as well. So here is another DAP, another ICO. Uh, another, and, and as you can see here, uh, their ICO is coming. So my apologies, Stokert is the one that hasn't got its white paper released, um, but it is gonna be coming, and if you wanna get more information, you have gotta not notify them through your email. But as I said, not financial advice, guys, to invest in any of these, but it is important to recognize this. As you start, start to see more of these projects append onto the blockchain, and we're not talking small projects, some of these are really massive, that is going to, improve the overall value of the governance token and that's NEO. Obviously it's going to affect the utility token and that's called gas but essentially the whole ecosystem is uh, you know it's dependent on its overall robustness and if it's continually growing out which at the moment it is and likely to be compounded through its exponential growth then that is going to affect the price of NEO. It's just a given um, if it's going to be something that has a real world, uh, uh, has real world value, real world context, and isn't about trying to circumvent authorities, so it's really cool. So, guys, this is super exciting. Um, the fact that Stoke it's going to be on, a, you know, I just love that we're hearing these all these positive news right now. I can't even keep up. Um, also, I noticed that um, Da recently was having a chat with a, a guy in crypto. China Crypto News. So guys, another bloke to follow because he's obviously in the know and he found he had found some time to go and chat with Da. Unfortunately, the, the interview that they've been uh, working on isn't gonna happen for two weeks and I imagine that's because all of these things that we're talking about right now. There's all these things happening for Da, for all the dApps, for the Neo team, and they perhaps wanna be really strategic with, with the release of that information because two weeks is a long time in the crypto world, but Definitely note that DAR is alive and well, and uh, that's a good sign for Neo. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about is another DAP, another project that is going to be appending onto Neo, and it's called Peer Atlas. And it has direct uh, medical uh, value in terms of it's trying to posit itself, or, or po it's posing, uh, proposing rather, uh, to be an authoritative figure in the medical industry. So what it wants to do is set forth algorithms and research, um, a bit like if you can imagine um, Red Pulse from Bloomberg and Steemit, this is really designed to be um, an access point for the medical industry. So it's really cool and it is coming. So here is the white paper, um, interesting sort of uh, fonts that they're using for their titles, but basically it goes through and explains exactly how Peer Atlas works. So the slogan is medicine without walls, but as I said before, the, the, the crux of their, their aim is to basically, uh, as it says here, represent the, the permanent destruct, destruction of the world's most unethical paywall uh, and basically provide a solution to, a, to subscription free at being subscription uh, it wants to be a subscription-free, ad-free platform that offers evidence-based support for clinical decisions by supplying medical articles and algorithms. So again, it's about putting up our um, medical research onto the blockchain. So it looks freaking awesome. One thing I will say also is what I've noticed um, before I talk about this awesome guy is that uh, Neo is starting to really classify or categorize its interests. And I've noticed that they are starting to build out their ecosystem according to all these different uh, uh, categories of, of information, categories of, of, of industry. So as we've talked about before, we, they've looked at legal, they've looked at medical, they've looked at insurance, they've looked at uh, operating systems. They are doing so much whereby if we think of it more like a pizza, they're looking at every single piece of, the, of, of, that, of that pizza or of a pie. And they're trying to make sure that they they recognise the potential within each of these industries pretty early on. 
And once they do that, again, it's going to be exponential because more will append to those industries and so forth. So being at the forefront of this information, I think, is really key. And getting to talking about forefront of information, here is Mikkel. Now, if you're not familiar with Mikkel, he is an absolute legend. We've been mates for a while now on Twitter. And he is one of very few people who is right on the ball. Like He really pays attention to what's going on in Neo. You can see from his image. And he's actually inspiring me to change mine to be more about uh, to be more in align with Neo. So let me know if you think I should do something like that. But mate, yeah, I want to say a big thank you to you because he's the reason why I found the next piece of information, and that is this. So um, talking about Elastis, as I said, DM was also one of the reasons. But Elastis is another brilliant project. Elastis is all about trying to assert itself as an operating system that has key features. It is uh, a company based in Shanghai, and I'll just read you this highlight that I've, I've highlighted here. And it says, Elastis operating system is a general purpose operating system based around the respect of security. It is an operating system made to address the needs of the Internet of Things, or IoT, of invention uh, kits such as the Raspberry Pi uh, and of mobile devices. So essentially, it's really quite different to your typical standard centralized OS. And just the sheer scale of presenting the idea of an OS is massive. So Elastis, as I said, is a brilliant project, definitely going to be on the Neo blockchain. And one of the advisors, just for your reference, is Jihan Wu, who has direct ties with, uh, you know, obviously, uh, Bitcoin Cash. He is he's certainly, and, you know, without trying to use too much of a pun, he's very cashed up. He has a lot of money, a lot of sway in the cryptocurrency industry, uh, and he also has links with Ant Financial, if you don't know, is a massive fintech uh, company, the largest in the world. Okay, so moving on to the next article, Coindesk, I just want to quickly talk to you about SecureKey. Now, SecureKey is going to be working with the IBM blockchain, and if you don't know much about that, IBM is a private, what we call a permission block blockchain. It is not a public blockchain. So they're kind of cut off from you know access to this public space. But Secure Key is proposing something like the key. And one thing we need to know is that there's a big overarching group called Hyperledger and OnChain, which is the private permission entity related or that's in the over the overall scheme of the business framework that Neo is part of. It's hard to explain because they're not Neo and OnChain are separate, but OnChain uh, has, you know, as I said through NeoX, you know the story. So OnChain uh, is part of Hyperledger as a private consortium group, and IBM uh, is essentially, you know, the crux of that Hyperledger uh, establishment and consortium. And Fabric is the protocol that that IBM are going to be using. So it's interesting that Secure Key is being established on the blockchain, especially given that the key is being released through, through NEO on a public blockchain uh, at the very same time. So it's really interesting food for thought, right down to the, even the graphics of the, the, um, the print. Um, so to sort of continue on that, I found this excellent article from Enterprise Times, and it talks about Hyperledger, Hyperledger and how it, internationally it's garnered a lot of business support and what I liked about this not just from the graphic but it shows you down here um, the kind of countries that they're getting and from what I read the predominant uh, adoption has been from China and America despite that there are many other countries coming so I wanted this article for two reasons one is to show you that Hyperledger, you know, are a real deal company. I don't support, you know, the whole permission blockchain thing because my focus is on what I can invest in, which is the public blockchain, and that is Neo. But here's kind of like an idea of what Neo is going to be like, because it helps us understand if Hyperledger is focusing on this, and we can see the key and Neo and OnChain working on their own projects. I can certainly see, with all probability, that Neo is. We're going to be looking at this years down the track, or even a year. And we're going to see all these countries with numbers beside them like this because as i said neo is only at the beginning stage of getting all of its businesses to append onto its blockchain so it's freaking awesome okay the next thing i want to talk to you about really quickly is some news and this is not financial advice but it's just something that piqued my interest and i want to know more about it and i'd love to know from you guys if you know anything about it nulls is getting a lot of attention you know at at, at the beginning stages at, um, for, so a lot of people are um, it's raising our eyebrows, it's raising questions, um, and it's just yeah. Apparently, it's one of these blockchains in China that uh, could be of value. So I wanted to just breach broach this with you because uh, you can see here 
There's claims like it makes trust simpler. It's going to be a highly customizable modular blockchain infrastructure. Interesting at the moment, uh, keen for discussion. Um, on Binance, this is another reason, it was released on Binance very recently, only nine days ago, and I noticed it has a, a similar equal supply, total supply of 100 million. It currently has a circulating supply of 40,000. So again, I don't know much about this and it's hard to find good quality information, but interesting. And the next thing is uh, the, the website itself. I read through the white paper um, and I read through the website. Again, you can't really make a comparison to NEO. It, they are very different from what I can see. Um, and this is really only at the beginning phase. But what is interesting also is they haven't really gone all out on trying to get a huge ICO running. They've really just put out their project. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments. But uh, I'm sorry I went over time. I'm trying to make them shorter videos. But overall, here is the near news for your Friday. If you haven't had your, you know, you knocked. If you haven't knocked off, or that in Australian language that means if you haven't finished work by now and you're going to finish off later. Cheers to you because it's your weekend coming up soon. I hope you had a great week and I will be talking to you really soon. But this is Neo News. It's Blockchain Brad signing out. Cheers, guys.